What's up, YouTube? This is Boston Chris. Welcome to my channel, Boston Chris Comics. I am back with a brand new video. Got some stuff to show off. A um, couple of books that I picked up that, um, from my shop. Um, doing a rare hatless uh, video. <laughs> it's hot today. Um, you know, we almost hit 100 up here in Boston. It was a really hot day, so I figured hats off so we can stay a little bit cooler. But, um, you know, I don't know. Had a great weekend, um, you know, it was it was uh, awesome weekend of uh, Father's Day yesterday. Enjoyed that a lot, um, you know. Uh, my daughter had a lot of fun, um, you, you know, doing family barbecue and just, you know, having some fun uh, playing some games and everything like that, doing the whole family thing. Um, that's the really fun part about the summertime where it's just, you know, nicer weather, um, you know, a lot of family barbecues, a lot of things to celebrate, so... Uh, definitely looking forward to a nice, fun-filled summer. But with that, I have some books I want to show you guys. Um, so let's get directly into those. Um, first up, we have Magic Order Number 1. Now this is um, Mark Malar's book that's going to be put uh, made into a Netflix series. Um, so I think they're putting this out just to kind of pre, I guess, predate the series, just to kind of get people that guess that little bit of information they need to kind of get them into it. Um, looking forward to that. Definitely um, a fan of Magmala's writing, fan of uh, his work. Um, from Kick-Ass to uh, Wanted to, actually I think Wanted come first, then Kick-Ass, then, um, you know, uh, what was it? Uh, Reborn, um, or oh, Rebirth, right? No, Reborn, that's right. Um, and just a bunch of stuff that he did in the Milliverse, like really, really cool stuff. Um, so there's that. Then I picked up a book. This one um, was actually recommended to me by Justin Exile State um, from the JLS Comic Show and Exile State Comics. Um, so he was, you know, going on praising this book, and I was like, ah, I'll give it a shot. And that is Death and Glory. So this is Death and Glory number one. Actually, really, really fun book to read. Like I, I wasn't really um, when I had seen it in the store, I just you know kind of passed it along because you know. Image number ones come out so often that it's just like, you know, you keep hearing about like, oh, you know, you gotta get this book, you gotta get this book, you gotta get this book. And um, sometimes you gotta, you know, pass them by just because there's so many that come out that it's just like, you know, you pick up a new series and start getting into it and then all of a sudden, oh, another new number one. And so it's just, it's just kind of a tough one. But this one, I'm actually glad that he was so, um, you know, just really uh, vocal about it and just saying, oh, no, this is good. You gotta pick this up. So I read it really, really good. Um, I recommend this one. This is this is a good one. Um, I didn't pay two seventy five for it. This is just an old bag. Um, been doing some um, reorganizing of my collection, um, putting some of my keys and other books into um, my laws and stuff like that. So I have some um, older bags. Uh, some of them probably could be, you know, moved over. But for now, these are just good placeholders for my books until I get some, um, you know, some get to some of the newer. Um, bags and boards that aren't so old. But um, next up we have Death and Glory number two, or Death or Glory number two. Um, definitely, you know, again, another strong entry. So, I'm, I'm, you know, I'm liking the story so far. It's, it's not, um, it didn't go where I thought it would initially, um, but, you know, by the end of issue number one, I was really hooked. Um, issue number two continues on and it's just been really good so far. So, two issues in, I like it a lot. Um, next we have, this is Flash number 49, no 48, um, this is the Matina variant. Uh, Matina's been doing a lot of different covers throughout the DCU, just doing a lot of the B covers. Really, really nice artwork on that one. Um, you know, I, 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 I really just, I like what he's been doing, like just taking a look at this really, really awesome pose and just awesome, awesome artwork on that one. Next we have Old Man Logan number 41. Um, you know, pretty cool series that they have, you know, I've, I've been reading this since it started, um, very, very good, and I like this, that, you know, they're having him take on Craven. um, you know, definitely cool, um, you know, Wolverine versus Craven, I think would be a good matchup, just because, you know, you have, the, you know, just the hunter, the guy who's just, you know, I mean, he stalked Spider-Man, like, you know, an animal, he was ready to kill him and everything like that, um, definitely a cool, cool character, um, next, we have... Um, Green Lanterns, number 48. Uh, this is just an A cover. I don't 
did, I didn't get the, you know, variant for this one. Wasn't really liking that, but, you know, how Jordan's in the book, you know, taking down Jesse Cruz, she's under arrest. Um, you know, and this one's called Rebel One, Rebel Run. The, um, you know, so the name of the story. Really nice cover on this one, too. I, I like what they're doing with this. Um, but yeah, Green Lanterns again, along with, um, Flash, um, have been really, really good titles. And along with this other one that I've been collecting since Rebirth, you know, just the new startup of Rebirth itself, and that is Batman. This is issue number 48. This is the, um, Frank Cho variant, which is kind of, um, I have to say, looking at this cover as it is, um, this isn't your average Frank Cho. I mean, it was, it was nice. The other cover wasn't all that great, so I just let it go. But, um, you know, you usually expect Frank Cho to, you know, draw all these, like, you know, really, like, you know, just, you know, like, bodacious women. That's the best thing I can say. So, you know, just, just really, you know, full-figured stuff, like stuff that he, you know, goes ahead and, you know, he likes to give the girls curves and stuff. And, um, it's not really that type of cover. It's actually more of a, I don't know, I, I don't know if I would consider this a fine art style cover. I guess you could. I mean, it's, it's you know, more abstract than, than other stuff, you know. I mean, it almost on its own is, is its own, um, almost ver a virgin variant. But you just have the, you know, Batman and then a lot of, like, you know, open space on this cover. Um, you know, pretty good. And it's leading up to the wedding episode, I'm sorry, the wedding issue, issue number 50. So, definitely, um, you know, been a great read all the way through. I haven't had a, I can't think of any storylines that I was, you know, really, um, disappointed by throughout this run. So, um, I like it. I think it's a good one. Um, and I've been saying for a long time that, you know, it's one that you should be picking up if you're not. But, um, you know, Batman, um, along with those other two, uh, Green Lanterns and Flash, I think to me, to me are the top three Rebirth titles. are the ones that I like the most, so that's the ones I pick up. Um, but I also, like I say all the time, p tell people that if you can, if you have the means, if you're able, um, if it's a light week, go ahead and pick up a back issue. So I actually picked up a couple. Um, one that I actually went ahead and, um, I want to say that this is an upgrade of my other one. I haven't, I like my other one's kind of packed away, but I picked up a second one of these and that is... Hulk number 172. So this is the, um, you know, there's a team up between the Hulk and um, Juggernaut. Like, Juggernaut kind of, um, Juggernaut kind of takes advantage of the fact that Hulk isn't the quickest wit um, out there. And then um, also retells his origin, um, the, the origin of Juggernaut. Uh, you know, talking about, you know, the, the, um, the Sidorak jewel and everything like that. How he got his powers and things. Um, so that was pretty cool. Um, and, and from what I've um, heard from other people is that this one kind of can be hard to come by. It's, it's kind of a popular one. So I was happy to be able to pick that up. Along with that, I was actually able to pick up issue number 174 as well. So here's Hulk fighting the Cobalt Man. So nice uh, Bronze Age Herb Shrimp covers. Um, you know, definitely good stuff there. Um, and then I ended up getting a book in the mail um, from a, uh, friend of mine, um, who is, uh, if you don't know him, um, Captain Cold Collectibles on Instagram. Um, you can go there and check out his stuff. Um, Captain Cold is a member of, you know, uh, you know, the comic book community. He's got tons of really, really good books. Um, you know, he just, I mean, some of the stuff that he finds is just incredible. And, um, you know, really cool guy and so he had come across a collection that he picked up and um, you know was going through some of the books seeing um, you know what he wanted what he didn't want and um, he was selling some stuff off so I went ahead and picked this up from him um, and I'm really really excited about this one because very nice shape this book and just a really awesome book um, and a run that I'm trying to collect I'm piecing it together it's not gonna be all at once but it's it's, it's coming together it's going to be a while before I get the entire run, but that is Captain Marvel. This is issue number 33. This is um, the telling of the origin of Thanos. So this is part of the Thanos War. And um, these are really actually really good books from uh, 25 through, I think it's like 30, 36 maybe? 
or 25 to 34, I don't I think it's like a nine issue run called the Thanos War. And um, Jim Stalin takes over, you know, um, on these books, and they're just really, really well done, really well written. And of course, they feature, you know, one of my favorite villains, um, Thanos. So, really, really awesome and um, great pickup to have in my collection. So, thank you again, Captain Cold. And like I said, you know, if you're interested in, um, you know, some of the stuff he has, if you want to check out his collection, go on Instagram, Captain Cold Collectibles, and um, see what he's got, man. He's got some really, really cool stuff. Um, but that's my haul. So, um, you know, kind of combined a couple of weeks together and, um, you know, back issue that I ended up getting. So definitely, um, happy to have that out of the way. So, um, with that, I'm going to get going. So I want to thank you all for watching. Um, stay tuned for more coming from the channel just cause, you know, I am going ahead and still trying to knock some books off my, um, top 10 list. Um, also, you know, Boston Comic Con's coming up. We are just a little more than a month away. Um, we just passed the two-month mark. So, um, you know, probably like a month or I would say closer to like uh, about six or seven weeks away. So definitely looking forward to that. Um, but yeah, other than that, just, you know, going to be picking up some books when I can. Um, there will be a... Um, there will be... A little bit of a break on the channel um, coming towards the 4th of July um, just because I'm not gonna be I'm gonna be going on vacation so there won't be any haul video I think that week if I do manage to pick anything up which I I don't think I will just because I'm gonna be away um, I will go ahead and you know put that in my next follow-up video but pretty much for that week I'm just gonna have to go ahead and or for the week after I'm just gonna have to play a little bit of catch-up pick up my books and then show everything all at once again. So with that, I'm going to get going. I want to thank you all for watching. Again, this has been Boston Chris. Everybody have a great night. Thank you. I'm out.